Over the last century and a half, immigrants from various ethnic groups have settled in Westfield, Lithuanians, Slavs, Irish, Italian, and Poles. Holy Trinity Parish became home to the city's Polish community with the La Salette missionaries serving the parish since 1903. However, citing fewer priests available to provide ministry, the order concluded its pastoral ministry in Westfield last weekend. Steve Kiltonic has the story. On February 19th at Holy Trinity Church in Westfield, the final Mass was held under the leadership of the La Salette missionaries, who have maintained a presence here for 116 years. Springfield Bishop William Byrne was the principal celebrant with Father Rainey Parent, the pastor, and other La Salette priests, as well as the Miriam Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. During the Mass, the La Salettes relinquished pastoral care of the parish to the Springfield Diocese, ensuring that the church would remain open. Holy Trinity was established in 1903 as a diocesan parish with Father Walter Przybilski as the first pastor. After three years, Springfield Bishop Thomas Bevan saw a need to minister to the flourishing Polish communities in Westfield and Ware and approached the La Salette missionaries. Five La Salette priests volunteered to go to Poland to study the language. And then they came back to this country and, and worked in various uh, parishes uh, that, that needed to minister to the Polish element, uh, one of them being here in Westfield. A shrine here on the grounds of the church depicts the miraculous day in 1846 when an apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to two children in the French Alps. The message of Our Lady of La Salette serves as the inspiration for the eventual founding of the La Salette missionaries. On September 19, 1846, two shepherds, Maximin Giraud, 11, and Melanie Matthew, 14, were tending to their cows on the slopes near the town of La Salette, France. After falling asleep, they were woken by bright light which revealed a beautiful woman weeping, her face buried in her hands. As the children approached her, they noticed she was wearing a brilliant golden crucifix around her neck, on which hung a small hammer and pincers. A shrine was built in 1852 and on the apparition site, and the Lasselet congregation was founded in 1858. The unique cross the Blessed Mother wore, symbolic of Christ's passion, became the characteristic emblem of the Lasselet missionaries, whose primary charism is reconciliation. Over the centuries, the La Salette spread across Europe and throughout 26 countries around the world, including the United States. Father Parent first served at Holy Trinity as associate pastor for four years in the early 80s before returning as pastor in 2006. I've always found the parish to be a very warm, welcoming parish. They accepted me as a French priest in a Polish parish. I felt very welcomed. Over the years, the La Salette spirituality was imbued into the parish and the now closed school. Every year around the feast day, which is September 19th, uh, we have special devotions and masses in honor of Our Lady of La Salette. We have a La Salette Novena. The Polish presence at Holy Trinity remains strong. The stained glass windows include names of the founding members of the parish. Throughout the church is artwork reflective of the Polish faith, including the Divine Mercy image and various Polish saints like St. Saint Casimir, St. Jadwiga and St. Hyacinth. Sandra Kilbasa, a lifelong parishioner of Holy Trinity, is president of the Rosary Society. It's a legacy of faith that I've inherited from my parents who inherited it from their parents. The La Salette message remains the backbone of the missionaries. And the thing about Father and, and the La Salette priests who preceded him is her message. And her message is one of reconciliation and hope. One of Kielbasa's favorite events is the parish festival held around the feast day of Our Lady of La Salette. We have all of the traditional Polish food with the piragi and the gołąbki and, and the kielbasa, but it's also more important about community. Lucy Lewinsky joined Holy Trinity 25 years ago after emigrating from Poland. She's active in the parish, serving on the Polish council, choir, and as a CCD instructor. Lewinsky said the La Salette message is a big part of her own faith identity. Because of this uh, message of hope and reconciliation, that's something that I, I, I say people nowadays are looking for. Especially the young generations, you know, you can see that they are really lost in life sometimes. The century-old church resonates with her. You feel this tradition and you, you kneel down in front of the tabernacle and you feel kind of like you're totally indifferent 
different world. Wade Brunel, a parishioner for 40 years, serves as chairperson of the Parish Finance Council. He credits Father Parent for the parish achieving its many financial goals over the years. He has a way of, of dealing with the community at large. The Lasolettes are, are a compassionate order. The peace and sanctity that they bring to us is overwhelming. Father Parent said it's a sign of the times that the Lasolettes are leaving Holy Trinity and consolidating nationwide. And the problem is the aging demographics of our members. We're getting older, diminishing numbers of La Salette's and the lack of vocations. During the offertory procession, parishioners presented Bishop Byrne and their new administrator, Father Yui, with a La Salette crucifix, parish history books, and a sacramental baptism register. In his homily, Bishop Byrne thanked the La Salette missionaries for their dedicated service, then issued a challenge to parishioners. What if this Lent we had one goal? to bring one person to Mass with you. We could set an example of joyful discipleship ourselves, to recognize that as we say goodbye to missionaries, we ourselves are now being commissioned as missionaries. Lasagat's provincial superior, Father William Kalyadin, expressed gratitude to Holy Trinity for the opportunity to minister in Westfield and handed a special blessings plaque to Father Yui. After Mass, parishioners thanked Father Parent for his service at Holy Trinity, then walked over to the parish hall, where a reception was held featuring traditional Polish food and a lot of memorabilia. For Real to Real, I'm Steve Kiltonic. Father Yui Lay will also serve as the administrator of St. Peter and Casimir Parish in Westfield. At the prompting of Bishop Byrne, there are now discussions underway between the four Catholic parishes in the city to decide how they can work together to serve the Catholic community of Westfield.